Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Automotive here today with a video on some common causes of why a car might be shaking while idling, but running smoothly while accelerating. Now, a car shaking at idle, also known as rough idle, is a very common symptom for a lot of different potential issues with not only your vehicle's engine, but also the vehicle itself. This can be very challenging to diagnose and determine what the cause is, just since there is a very lengthy list. So oftentimes it's good to have a little starting information and something to help point you in the right direction. Before jumping into some of the most common causes here, I did want to talk very briefly about why this is a common thing and why engines or vehicles can have a rough, shaky idle, but suddenly smooth out while accelerating or driving. Two common reasons for that. Number one, engines tend to run smoother under load. And part of the reason for that is when an engine is under load, it's essentially working harder. It's injecting more fuel. There's more air running throughout the engine. And so that means any minor imperfections are less likely to be noticed versus when the vehicle and engine are idling. Everything has to be just about perfect. Otherwise, that can cause a rough idle. And then the second reason is, of course, when you're idling, you're sitting still. You're not actually driving or moving in the vehicle. Once you start accelerating and driving, you're going to start feeling some of the imperfections in the road, hearing outside wind noise etc. So that can add to the fact that a vehicle might feel rough while idling, but suddenly seems a lot smoother while driving. One final thing to mention here is oftentimes when you have this rough idle, but the vehicle seems to be running and operating perfectly while driving, this can often be a sign of an issue that's just starting, but hasn't really come to fruition yet. So again, something that's a small enough issue that's affecting that idle where things have to be very perfect, but whatever component is causing the issue, you might be running totally fine under load, which means the part is starting to give out but hasn't completely failed or become defective yet. Now that said, let's go ahead and jump straight into some of the most common causes of a car shaking and experiencing a rough idle but suddenly smoothing out while accelerating and driving. Number one on the list is going to be bad engine or transmission mounts. So the biggest reason for this is, again, the engine runs smoother when it's under load and additionally the imperfections in the road when you start driving engine and transmission mounts when they begin failing are very noticeable at idle. You'll see the engine shaking and you can feel that rough idle in all of those vibrations. And once you start driving and that engine smooths out, then the operation tends to be perfect and those engine and transmission mounts don't necessarily expose themselves. Moving on to the second common cause, we have faulty spark plugs or ignition coils. The spark plugs and ignition coils are vital for your engine's ignition. And while it's idling, there's really not a whole lot of load on the engine. And so these parts are operating with very little stress, very little pressure. For example, the ignition coil might just not be getting enough voltage to send to the spark plug or the spark plug, the voltage it's receiving might not be enough to create a spark, but suddenly once you hit the throttle and start accelerating, there's more demand put on these components and that might just be enough to not cause any issues. Moving on to common cause number three, we have fuel delivery issues. So this could be anything from a failing fuel pump to things like a clogged fuel filter, clogged fuel injector, or potentially even a leaking fuel injector. So again, taking clogged, for example, when the engine is idling and has very low load and very low stress, the injector might be just clogged enough that fuel isn't successfully flowing into that cylinder, but suddenly you start accelerating and driving and there's enough fuel pressure being built up and there's enough fuel flow that it's making it through that slightly clogged injector just fine. Moving on to our fourth common cause, we have carbon buildup. This can be a serious issue on direct injection only engines. The reason for that is carbon is allowed to start building up on the backs of intake ports and the intake valves. And ultimately that can restrict airflow to the point that when the vehicle is idling and there's very minimal airflow, it might be restricting it enough to cause that rough idle, but suddenly when you start accelerating, that throttle plate opens further, you have more airflow going through the engine, more air pressure, and that can help get enough air into the cylinder to the point that you don't notice it while driving and accelerating. Moving a little faster through these last couple common causes on the list, we have a faulty mass airflow sensor or MAF sensor, a dirty throttle body, issues with the idle control valve, vacuum leaks, and all 
also an idle that is potentially too low for your engine. So if the idle is lower than the recommended specs for the idle and the RPMs that you should be at. So again, this isn't a completely exhaustive list. Now with some of the most common causes out of the way, how can you actually successfully diagnose the issue when you don't have a whole lot of information to go off of? The best first step is to always plug your OBD2 scanner into the OBD2 port and check for any existing codes. If you have a code pointing to the mass airflow sensor, for example, that's going to be the likely culprit causing the rough idle. Otherwise, if you have different codes that can point you in different directions, so that's going to be a very helpful first step. If you don't have any fault codes, Codes, then a lot of the times the engine and transmission mounts should be one of the next suspects on that list. Because if you don't have any fault codes, the engine and transmission mounts aren't something that the vehicle is going to pick up on being problematic. So those can be very common causes, again, especially if you don't have any diagnostic trouble codes and nothing indicating a specific issue with the engine, with airflow, fuel delivery, ignition, etc. Once you've made it through those steps, moving on to step two, Always check the basics, pop the hood, look for any visible damage to anything. Are there any loose connections, damaged wiring, cracked pipes, etc. Anything that might be dirty. So just check the basics there. Make sure nothing is obviously out of place. Moving on to step number three, if you really still have nothing to go off of, check your service manual. See if you might be coming due for specific maintenance items. For example, spark plugs are a common one that typically last about 50 to 100,000 miles on most vehicles. If you check your service manual and see that you're within roughly a 25% range of whatever that recommended interval is, then it's very possible that you just have some maintenance coming due that needs to be done as soon as possible. And then last step, this one's incredibly important. Research your specific engine, look up rough idle on, for example, a BMW w n54 or whatever your engine and engine code might be do some research there because a lot of the times there can be problems that are very common on a certain vehicle or a certain engine and a lot of the times you can find forums reddit threads other information out there from people who have experienced similar symptoms and ultimately came to the conclusion of whatever that issue might be so that's going to be the next best step because again this can be very challenging to diagnose without having anything else to go off of. Anyway, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more in the future. Thanks, everyone.